Hello everyone, it's Deli here, rub my belly, and welcome to the, to the next uh, building video. I am building a starter home today. If you've never been to my channel, welcome. I like to play The Sims a lot, and so much so that I like to play The Sims in my own time as well, off camera when I'm not recording Let's Plays. So this is a house I was actually building for my off-screen family, who I created last week. I was just really in the mood to start a new off-screen family, and I actually posted The Sims to my Instagram and Twitter page, so some of you guys may have seen them, so shout out to you guys if you did see them. Uh, but their names are Jay and Quinn Marino, and they're married. Um, Jay is, he is a, I'm just double checking, he is a politician. He's at level five at the moment. And then Quinn is a painter at level five as well in the careers. Um, so they're doing quite well, and I've already actually expanded this house because I've played a fair bit of gameplay in it already, and it's a really good starter home. It's kind of got everything you need. It doesn't look like it's just unfurnished or just kind of half finished. It definitely looks like a homely starter home. So I'm excited for you guys to see how this turns out. And I think some of you will probably enjoy using it in your game. Well, at least I hope so. <laughs> so if you do want to download it, make sure to go to the gallery and my username is Deligracy on there. If you can't find it, just scroll down uh, to the filtering options and check the box that says show builds with custom content. There is no custom content used in this build but because of a glitch on the gallery that I am still unable to fix, uh, all of my builds keep coming up with showing hidden content, custom content, not hidden comment, content. Oh my gosh, I can't speak tonight. <laughs> so yeah, uh, basically this starter home, I wanted it to have a little bit of a Victorian vibe. I wanted it to be quite traditional, really cute, maybe look like an older home that had been, uh, you know, just freshly painted and it's still looking nice, but it still is an older home because I don't know, I, I do a lot of modern homes. I do a lot of starter homes that are modern and sometimes you just want something with a little bit more character. And I thought for these Sims, that's exactly what I wanted. So maybe they'll later move into a home that's a little bit more modern. I was thinking of even doing a Let's Build series uh, for a more modern home because recently my friend uh, Samaj, who also does YouTube, he's been doing a Let's Build series and you know, I have to admit, when I start watching his series, I'm like, oh, I want to do that series. So I might see if he, if, if he doesn't mind if I give it a crack as well and we do some kind of let's build uh, for this family possibly or something else. So let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested in that. But in any case, um, definitely check out his series um, at The Sim Supply on YouTube because he... Uh, he's a very good builder. <laughs> he's a very, very good builder. Oh, another thing is I could do a let's renovate <laughs> his house, his build series series. Let's renovate the build series, build series. I mean, it could work. Anyway, so I was thinking of doing an orange exterior because I feel like I never use these orange weatherboards but in the end I just didn't really like it it just wasn't for me I think I would love to use this bright orange color if I was doing like a row of really bright townhouses maybe houses or architecture inspired by Cinque Terre in Italy or something like that or maybe like those San Francisco homes that are really bright and colorful uh, but yeah, for this house, I, I, I actually ditch the orange and go the blue. And of course, keeping in mind that this is a household that I play offline, I do want to do something that I personally like. <laughs> so we did go with the blue and uh, the windows there. Are those windows from Seasons, I think? And they're really inexpensive. Those windows look like they cost so much more than they do. I think they're the same price as like the base game windows, which is pretty crazy. So I do like that. And uh, I liked this little thing on top of the, what do you call that? Like the hexagonal roof there. Uh, and I think that was from Get Together, perhaps. Just like little details. And oh, you know what? I really wanted to use like wrought iron gates to give it more of a Victorian theme. But in the end, I felt like it just wasn't working. So we just go with more of this um strangeville kind of fencing which we haven't used that much because strangeville only came out a little while ago but i've got to say strangeville has some really nice build and buy objects so even if you're not that interested in 
playing the storyline, but you've saved up your monies to get a new pack, you might want to consider it because it, it is it is got some really nice Victorian items and kind of church influenced windows and doors, which are really, really beautiful. The doors are so nice. Oh my goodness. Uh, but the door we're using is just a, ooh, cats and dogs door perhaps. So yeah, here's the exterior of our starter home coming together. And of course, uh, this home is ready for your Sims to move into without any money cheats. As long as you have two Sims in the household, you'll be able to afford it. And also assuming that you're not buying like a enormous lot, cause that's obviously gonna cost a little bit more as well. But I really love this starter home because sometimes starter homes can feel a little empty because you can't finish them that much because there's not a whole lot of money. Sometimes uh, starter homes kind of feel like a box and there's not really much else going on. This home, I've made sure to make it feel like a real small home that's traditional. So there's archways, there are just a few trees around the place, uh, there are you know, irregular wall shapes and details, which I think is really nice, as well as having a porch around it. That's pretty nice for a starter home because of course that costs a little bit more money with the extra fencing. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna have a nice little starter home. It's gonna have one bedroom, one bathroom. We will have a little kitchen and a little dining space, but the lounge room will have to wait. I've put in a nice chair and bookshelf, but I didn't put a TV in because I preferred to just save up a little bit through gameplay to get the TV. Uh, so yeah, if you wanna start off the game with a TV, then You'll have to delete some other things, but I thought a bookshelf was okay to get their fun up for now. And yeah, the walls kind of look like they're being freshly painted. I wanted to make this house look like it was a home that had been renovated. I could have gone down the track of making it look a little old and run down so you can kind of fix it up over time. But for my gameplay, I imagine these Sims had been married for a little while and they'd been living here for a little while. Or... Alternatively, they had lived somewhere else and they were married and they've just moved here for new for new job opportunities. So this is a home that they've been able to afford a decent and nice looking home and their money is going to expand the home over time. And it's already expanded a little bit. I've actually added an entire lounge room already to this. Uh, so I'll upload the expanded version on the gallery too. So if you guys want to download this, play in it for a little while and then save up for the expanded version, that might be kind of cool. And I even thought maybe I could play my off-screen family a little bit on the channel, but just like do an episode maybe once a week. So instead of seeing every single little bit of gameplay, it would be like checking into my current household. And I kind of thought that was interesting because it's always, I'm always curious to see how other people play The Sims. And sometimes you don't want to sit through a whole storyline and a whole let's play. I thought maybe, you know, jumping in for the more important parts of gameplay could be kind of fun or seeing where it is a week after checking in. So let me know in the comments down below about your thoughts. And uh, my Sims, Jay, uh, he is in politics. So he's at level five of the politics career. And so I did want to have a computer in here as well. There's going to be a laptop in here for your Sims to use and ready to go. Um, not that you use the laptop that much for politics, but I just thought for storytelling, you know, having a laptop, if you're a politician, you probably wanna be browsing the web a little bit. <laughs> and then uh, Quinn, the other Sim, his wife, uh, she is into creating paintings. She's a painter and she's also um, gotten into the painting career. So she's already at level 10 painting. Um, I've been working on that for a little while. And the politician career, I actually forgot, but there's a lot of time outside of going to work. Like you don't work that often during the week. So Jay is also going to be writing books and he's at writing level six. So that's another reason why I wanted that laptop. So he could work on something on the side. So that's a good thing. Like if you guys want to have Sims to have a job as well as another job on the side, the politics career is a really good one for that. And I think that came with city living. This uh, this little dining table was, eh, I mean, 
I felt like it was a little bit hard for Sims to maybe get into the chairs. I just wasn't so sure about it. <laughs> so in the end, we're actually going to just get some bar stools for the kitchen and we're going to use that little corner for a corner sofa. So it does have the feeling that there's kind of a loungy area without a whole full on blown lounge room. So there is gonna be like a corner sofa there. And I, I love the corner sofas in the game. I think they're, I don't know what it is about them, but I think the fact that it's a furnishing item that feels like it's actually built into your home, that's what's kind of cool about those items. I'm trying to think if there's any other items like that where it gives the illusion of being built into the homes, but I just love things like that. I think they work really nicely. And so yeah, you've got the two uh, kitchen stools there. I wanted to have just like one decor item. Um, so I was trying to put the bread box out there, but in the end I was like, oh, it's probably gonna take up too much room on the bench. So Sims won't be able to make stuff. <laughs> and I was very tempted to put these laundry stuff shelves up. I mean, in hindsight, I kind of wish I left them cause they do look quite cool. Uh, but in the end, we're just gonna put some like kitchen utensils on the back wall that's tiled there. And these counters are one of my favorites. They're from Parenthood. <laughs> it, you know, it's a test trying to remember what pack each thing is from. And then over here, I deliberately made this little inset wall space because I did want to have a bookshelf in there because bookshelves make your home feel homely in my opinion. And if you're wondering why the floorboards kind of cut off in different directions from the hallway to the bedroom, that's deliberate. I wanted it to look like uh, this was an older home and the floorboards didn't lead into archways. They were separately built rooms and archways have been put in. So yeah, might not make sense to all of you, but in my head that, that makes sense <laughs> for a renovated home. And to the bedroom, I didn't put a door there. I had an archway with a curtain just to make it look a little bit more I don't know, I guess artsy, <laughs> artsy for the art lover in the house. But I think over time when they move, they could potentially go for something a little bit more modern. Maybe you guys know that I'm always, I'm always into modern builds. I love doing modern builds. So I think I would like to upgrade them to a more modern home when, when the time is right. But for now, and whilst we're renovating, it's going to stay a little bit more traditional. Uh, and yeah, I was really struggling with the rug in the bedroom. I was like, uh, do I want this orange rug? Does that work? In the end, I'm pretty sure I go with like an entirely different bedroom. No, that's right. After renovating, this bedroom changes a lot. When I renovate it, uh, it's like purple hues and a really nice bed. And yeah, it's, it's quite it's a little bit different when it's renovated. So I feel like I need to share it with you guys <laughs> now that I've been teasing you about the renovations. So I might, I might film a, a little like my off screen family video soon. Um, so that's pretty much it. I think, oh yeah, I have a habit of always wanting to make feature walls. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't help it. I know that IRL homes don't have as many feature walls as the homes I play in the Sims. But I just always feel like they, it makes them look a little bit more interesting. And I love that rug in the kitchen, actually. That rug is one of my favorites with the little florals on it. I just think it's so cute. And then over here is the little laptop that I promised uh, because I felt like we needed to have some kind of electronics in the home. So you could potentially delete that and put a TV in uh, if you wanted to. But let's jump into the screenshots. We're just going to put a little plant there. Uh, plant some garlic if you want to keep the vampires out and here it is here's our little home i think it looks really sweet so i hope you guys enjoy using it and do let me know in the comments down below if you're going to download it and use it for your families and i'll upload the renovated version right now too so there's the hallway very nice and uh I do like how it looks straight into the bedroom, even though that's kind of creepy. For some reason, it's very welcoming. Like you'd walk through the front door and just want to run up onto your bed and just go, ah, I'm home. And also the renovated version now has a whole heap of paintings from my Sim, Quinn, who's been painting. So that's kind of nice too. Makes it a little bit different. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you are having a lovely morning or afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world. And as always, I can't wait to speak to y'all soon. So, so.